Welcome back to In the Garden. I'm joined here with Brandon Albert, who's going to tell us about some perennials and what they are and when they're going to bloom this, this summer. Yeah, so these are some of my all-time favorites, uh, starting off with lavender. Who doesn't love lavender unless no. you have allergies? <laughs> no, they're the perfect spring and summer flower. Absolutely. So these are going to come up. Uh, this one right here is going to get up probably about two to three feet tall um, and about the same in width. Uh, you're going to see these big, beautiful purple flags, as I like to call them, coming out the top of the blooms. This is a Spanish lavender. Um, these things will get covered in bees. Uh, great pollinator love 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 the lavender so once they're planted they're going to come out to be a little like about this big right yeah you're going to get you know two to three feet tall and about yay in width <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah these will just continue to grow and grow and grow uh, you can't go wrong they are evergreen which is really awesome too if you have a spot in your yard that you need uh, a little bit of structure in uh, lavender again is just a great all-around sun perennial yeah, absolutely. So tell me a little bit about these other plants here too, as well as the Spanish lavender. Yes. So all of these are going to love the sun. This one right here is Euphorbia, also known as Spurge. Uh, this one right here is the Purpurea, kind of a mouthful. But uh, again, kind of in that two foot range, uh, you see that dark purple foliage with that green, you get a really nice color variation there even better when these things start to bloom you get this beautiful yellow flower wow. uh, that comes out of the top that really just pops so if you have a lot of just kind of green shrubs around this is a good one to kind of mix in uh, and then especially when they start to bloom you get a really nice contrast there and then this guy is a dianthus right with the beautiful red flowers yes the dianthus this is the fire star uh, this one right here is going to have that vibrant vibrant red with kind of that blue green foliage behind it this is going to be another great perennial for in front of other taller perennials or shrubbery it's going to provide you with color all spring and summer even into the fall if the weather treats us right and then the, you, you were telling me earlier that this is a, a cone flower yes uh echinacea the cone flowers they get their name kind of be, because of the shape of the flower you can't tell right now as these are kind of uh, immature flowers but as they get older and grow up more the inside of the flower here resembles a little bit of a cone like this and the petals kind of lean backwards a little bit and that's kind of where they get their name from well, Brandon, thank you so much for joining me in the garden today and bringing these beautiful flowers. Uh, if you want to check out some of these perennials, you can go ahead and head to Grinch Co-op. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.